All right, welcome back. Uh, happy Friday evening to you. We still have a couple of isolated thunderstorms uh, out there. Uh, not quite as numerous as uh, before, and that'll probably be the last one that's uh, coming into the Helena area right now. 74 degrees. Looking at Great Falls, it's a pretty good thunderstorm, and uh, I think it got a little rainbow right there. Boy, we had a few storms move right over downtown Great Falls. Uh, throughout uh, the afternoon, but I even think for Great Falls, probably out of the woods now, 71 uh, degrees. Cup Bank, 53 degrees. Had a pretty good thunderstorm come across uh, the East Glacier area, cooling temperatures down there. There you can see the wind, a uh, little gusty near some of the thunderstorms, 20 mile per hour wind in Haver. Beautiful thing, clean air for everyone. That wildfire smoke from Canada earlier this week has completely moved on out this area of low pressure still a lot of lightning strikes here and kind of amazing that with all the lightning strikes over the last few days i haven't seen many wildfires start there was a little fire up around the browning area uh, but uh, firefighters were able to knock that down pretty quickly helen again some storms approaching from the west here we have some storms also down towards the south actually a little thunderstorm popping up moving right over the townsend area here a little further towards the west, though, the storms crossing the Continental Divide. After that, we're in the clear. Great Falls, look at these little thunderstorms. Look at all the lightning strikes right around town. And now you're looking at that storm, or what we just looked at that storm uh, with the camera there moving towards the Highwood Mountains. But look at some of those lightning strikes so right over the downtown area. Some of these storms, there it is, that moved over Cup Bank, dropping the temperature into the 50s. Uh, the Bear Paw Mountains, good little thunderstorm right there out to around uh, Fort Belknap over to Dodson, Randy Wilkie country up there. Got a couple of thunderstorms uh, moving through parts of uh, Fergus County, Choke Cherry Festival. Should be okay tomorrow. Might want to bring a rain jacket in case an isolated thunderstorm pops up. But there's that low pressure and that will move out in time for the weekend. So few thunderstorms here yet this evening, especially in the eastern half of the state, but see how Great Falls and Helena really kind of calms down. Some showers through the overnight into the morning up in the northeast part of the state. And we may have an isolated thunderstorm or two pop up again right around Lewistown there tomorrow afternoon and evening. Slight chance for a storm around Helena and Great Falls, but most of the state will be very nice and a lot drier than what we were today and over the last couple of days. And then heading into Sunday, there may be an isolated thunderstorm up the divide. A little additional precipitation as we go through this weekend. Here's the forecast for tonight. Still a few storms, but most of the storms will be out across the north central and northeast part of the state through the overnight into tomorrow morning. Lewistown, still a few more showers and storms, maybe until about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, though, pretty nice choke cherry festival. An isolated thunderstorm should pop around the Lewistown area in the afternoon. Same with Helena and Great Falls for Sunday. A mostly sunny day. Temperatures in the 70s. Really a pretty nice weekend. Patriots Day on Monday, September 11th. And we'll have mostly sunny skies, 70s to about 80. And Tuesday, most of the state popping into the 80s. Not too many of those days left here probably this year. Days in the 80s. Hell on a seven day forecast, an isolated storm Saturday and Sunday, but nothing like last night and what we were dealing with today. And Great Falls looking pretty nice this weekend and next week.